Betelgeuse is a celestial marvel that graces the night sky with its presence. This iconic red supergiant, nestled in the Orion constellation, has captured the awe and imagination of stargazers for generations. However, recent observations and updates by the world-renowned physicist Mataku have stirred concern. It is believed that Betelgeuse has finally exploded. How might this explosion of Betelgeuse reshape our understanding of stellar life cycles and the forces that shape our universe? What does it mean for humans? Stay tuned to find out. Imagine looking at the night sky and spotting a brilliant star in the Orion constellation. That star is Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis. Orion is a significant constellation in astronomy, positioned at approximately 5 hours, 30 minutes right ascension, and zero declination. It derives its name from the legendary Greek hunter, in mythology, recognized for its brightness. Orion boasts numerous prominent stars, and among these is Betelgeuse, a variable star known for its distinctive reddish hue. It ranks as the 11th brightest star globally, boasting a magnitude of 0.6. Notably, the brightest star in Orion is Betelgeuse, a shining beacon on the hunter's shoulder. Betelgeuse comes from an Arabic word, bad al-jaws, meaning the giant shoulder. So, when you see this star, you're looking at the twinkling giant shoulder in the sky. In 1603, an astronomer named Johann Bayer gave the star its special name, Alpha Orionis. Alpha means it's the brightest star in the Orion constellation. Interestingly, despite the star now being recognized as the brightest in Orion, Betelgeuse proudly holds on to its name. Betelgeuse is a gigantic star, with a mass range much larger than our Sun, about 764 times bigger. If the Sun were a tiny marble, Betelgeuse would be a huge basketball. Figuring out how far Betelgeuse is has been a bit tricky. People think it's between 500 and 600 light years away from our Sun, a vast distance in cosmology. When it comes to brightness, Betelgeuse is quite the shining star with a super bright rating of about minus 6. Morgan McLeod, a researcher from Harvard University, explains that Betelgeuse is special because it's huge and not too far away. This makes it one of the few stars scientists can examine closely using telescopes on Earth and in space. So, it's like Betelgeuse is posing for a close-up picture for scientists to study. The images from these telescopes show that Betelgeuse differs significantly from our sun's appearance. Instead of being a smooth and uniform sphere of extremely hot plasma, Betelgeuse appears as a collection of uneven boiling gas pockets, with some being quite sizable, comparable to small stars. Notably, large upwellings of hot material rise from the core to the surface of Betelgeuse, like cosmic spring cleaning. One of these shells is so big that if you could travel at the speed of light, it would take you 7.5 years to go from one side to the other. These materials then cool down and return to the interior, reminiscent of the sun's cycle, but on a much more intense scale, almost like the sun on an exaggerated dose of steroids. This cosmic cleansing done by Betelgeuse is what scientists call surface mass ejection, SME. Betelgeuse's surface mass ejections and the sun's coronal mass ejections are similar, they both expel materials from their outer layers. Betelgeuse's ejections are linked to its convective motion, while the sun's involve magnetized plasma from its corona. Despite similarities in material ejection, their causes stem from differing internal structures and processes. Betelgeuse is believed to be merely 10 million years old, a mere fraction of our sun's age and making it 50 times younger. Despite its youth, Betelgeuse has already depleted the hydrogen fuel in its core, finding itself in the latter stages of its existence and transitioning into the red giant phase. During this stage, it utilizes helium to produce carbon through fusion processes. Betelgeuse's rapid evolutionary journey can be attributed to its initial substantial mass at birth. As noted by scientists, Betelgeuse originated as a blue-white O-type star, belonging to the most massive category of hydrogen-burning main-sequence stars. In the realm of stars, size equates to brilliance and intense heat, meaning larger stars shine brighter and burn hotter. However, it also correlates with faster hydrogen consumption and an earlier transition to the red giant phase. The surface of Betelgeuse could have experienced staggering temperatures of up to 89,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 
a stark contrast to the sun's comparatively lukewarm temperature of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The disparity is truly monumental. According to NASA, once Betelgeuse used its hydrogen and started fusing helium, its outer layer expanded significantly from its original size. Nowadays, Betelgeuse is one of the largest stars we know, stretching more than 700 million miles in diameter. However, it's no longer as scorching as it once was, its surface temperature is around 5,800 degrees Fahrenheit, cooler than the sun. Despite this, Betelgeuse outshines the sun by a staggering 7,500 to 14,000 times. In 1836, the astronomer and mathematician Sir John Herschel observed fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness. However, he might not have been the initial observer. Betelgeuse is now categorized as a semi-regular variable star, displaying periodic changes in brightness and occasional irregular fluctuations. It typically follows a 400-day cycle and a more extended approximately 5-year cycle. However, 2019 witnessed an anomaly in its behavior. What happened to Betelgeuse? In the past few years, Betelgeuse's conduct has attracted significant attention due to its increasingly unpredictable behavior. Throughout history, astronomers have noted the star's regular oscillation and luminosity, following a consistent 400-day pattern, brightening to a magnitude of 0.3 and subsequently dimming to around 0.8. The cause of the fluctuations has been associated with an outer layer of the star called the photosphere. There is a visible part of the star known as the photosphere. This photosphere of Betelgeuse is where most of its light and heat are emitted. It shows convective motion, where heat is transported from the star's interior to its surface through moving gases, causing variations in brightness as cooler gas sinks and hotter gas rises, affecting the star's appearance over time. During the autumn of 2019, Betelgeuse significantly decreased luminosity, deviating from its usual pattern of brightening and fading. In a matter of months, the star dimmed by approximately 60%, marking an occurrence now recognized as the Great Dimming. This event made the star 2.5 times fainter than any previous observations. The cause was later determined to be a massive ejection of material from the star's interior, forming.